I still see my grandparents in, in the trees when you're looking around and I feel them in the breeze of the wind. Um, you can hear them whispering when you're just out in the woods. And they, I think that they're very pleased with how things are. Where we are on the Thick Pens today is just about as close to royalty as you're going to come in the state of Mississippi with tree farming. Anybody in, in central or south Mississippi can do this if you do it right and give it a little bit of time. So your family can have this. And Mr. Chester planted this knowing that the trees would probably live longer than he did. Everybody that walked on that property that day, you know, I, I don't think anybody left out the way they came. As citizens of the state of Mississippi, you know, very proud. Um, Perry Brumfield, I'm currently working as a land ambassador for NNFP. Basically, uh, my job is, is to go out into the communities and try to inform minorities about the different types of uh, workshops and call share programs that are available to them. Also to uh, assist them and advise them as uh, to enhance their quality of life. Now, today was a great uh, educational activity, especially to educate those that do not know and do not know the importance of agriculture and trees specifically. I assume everybody's heard of NRCS. Does anybody not know what NRCS is? Right. We are the Natural Resource Conservation Service. We're an agency under the Department of Agriculture. We're a federal agency. If you don't really know what you're doing, the best thing to do is just get a copy of your deed and come to the office and we can kind of walk you through it. Okay, you're gonna see this nice farm, but it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to me. I always go like, what can I go home? What, what's my take home message? How can I apply it to my land? This is a beautiful stand. You want your land as a part of a legacy for your kids. That's a real strong motivation that I run into when I deal with private land. So I'm assuming that's important to you as well, because this is part of what you're gonna get. Mr. Chester knew when he planted these, at some point, this is what it looked like. It, they never wanted to see the land get away from the family. Other words, they wanted to see it stay in the family. And my dad felt the same way. My dad tried to make it better than, other words, leave it better than he found it. And so I had the same philosophy too. My name is Iris Thigpen Griffin. I am the youngest daughter of Roy Thigpen. My fondest memories of, of my childhood is spending the summers here. My grandmother would walk through the pastures and uh, we would go fishing and pick the wild berries and she taught us how to cook and how to do the farming and live off the land. And my grandmother would sit down with us at the kitchen table and talk to us about Grandpa Dan who purchased the land. And uh, she would tell us all kind of stories about the struggles that they went through. But they thought it was important enough to spread this word because they too like to share information. One um, segment at Marketplace, they've never been able to penetrate were the minority landowners. Roy had shared that with me and I said, I think, I said, just hang tight with me. I said, I think we're going to dispel that myth for you this weekend. I didn't get to go to school too much. I finished this about the eighth grade and uh, I didn't have a chance to go to college or nothing. And at the time we had to buy our own books for nine of us, and my father and mother couldn't, couldn't afford to do it. And I never rode a school bus, never had a hot lunch then. So it's been rough to me all of my life. So, but I still love to say, I love to see it better for this under generation. And that's what I'm trying to do, the reason, one reason I'm here today. I come here to learn more. I think that um, African Americans who have been isolated for so many years, uh, looking for that opportunity and that opportunity is now knocking on the door and what we're trying to do is is to make sure that that they are aware of all those opportunities you know they talk about the declining of the black farmers here's an opportunity where we may see an increase in black farmers again we need clear titles to our land in Jasper County 90 percent of the poverty in that area is caused because of air property I'm tired of talking about the problem and I want to show and share information with landowners to make them go home and take some action so it maybe you might not be the generation that can get these things in place and so I'm trying to make people I'm really trying to irritate people every time I go out okay we'll have a little quiz here what's the diameter of that tree to the nearest tenth of an inch <laughs> Tenth of an inch. Tenth of an inch. Eighteen. Eighteen even, okay. I'd say twenty. Twenty? I'd say twenty-two. Twenty-two? 
17.7. So 18 is real close, talking. okay? That tree is mature. It's a saw timber, mm -hmm. okay? That tree is not going to go to another product. Okay? It's maxed out. Then that leaves some of your smaller trees like this, but give this stuff a chance to go up to that next category. Right now, this might sell for $14 a ton. But if you give it five years, now it moves into a real saw timber category. Now you're selling for $30 a ton. My grandfather also learned very early about relationships and how you've got to um, make relationships with key people that will help you move forward. Because I honestly believe that if he had not made key relationships, I don't know where how, how much further he would have gone. This opportunity to come out here, give us the opportunity to network with other people, uh, hear ideals, and uh, some of them are large ideas, some of them are small ideas, but uh, this is what it's about. It's a long, tedious process of getting clear title, and, and, and for the people that are doing that job, the mental anguish that nobody can really express to you other than somebody who's gone through it. That I try to be that person there to encourage a landowner. I try to make myself accessible to be a sounding board for them. Uh, this day is great, especially for the minorities. Minorities are normally the last people to take advantage of activities like this. And most times they are deprived of the information about activities like this. That's one of the reasons we have so many uh, minorities let their land go because they don't know what to do with it. We are trying to tell everybody about it. You know, you need to come here to see this. Drive about 20 more miles down and, and look at this national treasure that we have here in the state of Mississippi. You know, these people are doing doing it right. They are being good stewards of the land. Not even, and they are opening up and they're sharing it with people. I enjoy being here because I've seen my race of people has got things and doing things that never been done before. That's the experience for me, and it would see this, this site, and that would learn us to do better, you know, in our life. Because in my time, since I've been a man, I've never seen this, and I'm 90, 89 years old. i never seen a man got through 1,400 acres of land, not a black man. Here's a lot I could say. <laughs>